Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The president of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received a delegation from the UAE Supreme Audit Institution, led by the president Humaid Ubaid Khalifa Ubaid Abu Shibs. During the meeting, the two sides discussed joint cooperation to exchange practices and experiences and expertise and train employees in the field of oversight and auditing for the benefit of the two countries. They hailed the long-standing joint ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The NAO President outlined programs and initiatives aimed to enhance performance through training national cadres honing their competencies to keep abreast of the digital and technological transformation. He highlighted the expansion of modern oversight services such as investigative auditing, stressing the importance of strengthening the capabilities and reviewing the policies to ensure the completion professionally. The second edition of the Housing Finance Exhibition, currently held at the City Center organized by the Ministry of Housing, continues until tomorrow evening and has received a remarkable turnout from citizens since its opening. The exhibition includes many financing and real estate services that allow citizens the flexibility to see what they can benefit from in terms of housing services. The 10-day expo, which opened on 15th of June amid massive turnout, is scheduled to run until Saturday the 24th of June. Housing and Urban Planning Minister Amna bint Ahmed al rumehi stressed the importance of such exhibitions in providing immediate services to the citizens, noting that the ministry will direct its efforts, plans and programs to ensure housing for citizens without waiting periods. More than 10,000 real estate properties are being showcased at prices which commensurate with the funding solutions in the coming period. The Inspection Department of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce intensified campaigns on small commercial companies, especially those owned by non-Bahrainis, to verify their commitment to laws and regulations and the seriousness of these companies in commercial work. The Ministry affirms that it is keen to intensify field visits to shops and companies where two violating companies were monitored and legal measures were taken and they were closed administratively for violating the provisions of Decree Law Number 27 for the year 2015. Regarding the commercial registry, which is ongoing, follow other companies. Meanwhile, the ministry organizes joint inspection campaigns with all the relevant authorities, holding many meetings, exchanging information, and developing joint control procedures that govern the effective control process. The ministry also confirms that it is in constant review of the requirements and criteria for establishing commercial companies in recent developments with the international practices in the business sector. The ministry warns owners of commercial companies for the need to follow the regulations and laws regulating business and not to exploit the commercial facilities provided by the Kingdom of Bahrain. The minister also stressed the need of the role of those dealing with commercial companies by checking the company and its activities before conducting any transaction. Under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Dr. Muhammad Mubarak Juma, the Applied Science University hosted a graduation ceremony for more than 700 students. More details in this report. The Applied Science University, the ASU, hosted a graduation ceremony for the 15th and 16th batches, which included more than 700 students under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Higher Education Council Board of Trustees, Dr. Muhammad bin Mubarak Juma. The Minister of Education congratulated the graduates and their parents, hailed the university's academic achievements, which further consolidated its standing. It's our pleasure uh, today to, ha to uh, have this ceremony for our uh, 15th and 16th uh, graduation uh, for our students. Uh, we are very pleased and really to, to, to be here today. We congratulate our students for this and our graduates for this ceremony. We wish them all best, inshallah, in their life and be always connected today, our university, to work together for the, their future and the future of Bahrain. The minister announced the Higher Education Council's approval of the university's request to grant the dual degree, dual award, for its programs hosted by London South Bank University, which enhances its attractiveness to students from outside the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's uh, truly an honor to be celebrating the success of all these uh, graduates this morning. 
uh, you know, their dedication, uh, commitment to their studies have now paid off and now they, they're really ready to go on and contribute to society with their skills, with the knowledge they gain, with even the mindset they, uh, they gain throughout their studies. Uh, really, I wish them all the best and uh, I have no doubt whatsoever that they're going to make uh, a real difference. The graduates of the ASU expressed their joy and happiness marking the ceremony and outlined their plans for a bright future pursuing their careers. It is such an honor and especially the, the university itself has made the experience such so wonderful and of course uh, our, our lecturers and our professors, we owe them everything, we owe them their, our gratitude, especially after COVID-19 and the experience of having online classes and everything, they made it very interesting and very fun and we enjoyed our experience the four years or the five years that the students have been there. The ASU chairman, Samir Abdullah Nas, said that the board of directors will continue its role in encouraging and providing all support to the university administration to enable it to continue achieving its mission and the goals for which it was established to be a beacon of knowledge, education, and scientific research. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The reality TV program Be Ban, dedicated to entrepreneurs, hosted the global entrepreneur Jeff Huffman in partnership with the Embassy of the United States of America in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The hosting comes as part of an intensive training camp for entrepreneurs based in the Kingdom of Bahrain who were selected for the third season of the Be Ban program. Having aired for two seasons, Be Ban featured a total of 62 businesses of various sizes and resulted in successful co-investments by the private and public sectors, exceeding $6 million US dollars in GCC-based startups. Biban is a reality TV show in which entrepreneurs pitch to investors for immediate investment offers and strategic business opportunities. The President of the General Presidency for the Affairs of the Grand Holy Mosque and the Prophet's Holy Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman al Sudais, said that all preparations have been made for the live broadcast of Arafat sermon from Namira Mosque at the holy site of Arafat in 20 languages. He also noted that the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques translation project to translate the sermons delivered at the Two Holy Mosques and Arafat sermon aims at reaching out to more than 300 million beneficiaries around the world via Manarat al Haramain digital platform. The UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, met with the Vice President of Turkey, Cevdet Yalmaz, to discuss ways to further develop cooperation between both countries within their framework of the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. The UAE President received Yalmaz and his accompanying delegation at Ashata Palace in Abu Dhabi. The UAE President congratulated Mr. Yelmez on his appointment as Vice President of Turkey, wishing him success in his post. During the meeting, His Highness and the Turkish Vice President reviewed the promising opportunities that exist to enhance economic cooperation between the two countries. These include opportunities related to economy, investment, food, security, renewable energy, environment and other key areas that support sustainable development ambitions of both nations. The two sides also discussed a number of regional and international developments. The closing session of the summit for a new global financial pact was held in the French capital Paris today. The summit was held under the auspices of the French President Emmanuel Macron and in the presence of heads of states and representatives of the participating countries in addition to regional, international and civil organizations and other relevant parties. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Sisi said that what has been achieved over the past years was not enough to support African countries in confronting climate change, adding that Egypt was keen to implement clean energy projects. For his part, the French president called for the need to work on reforming global financial institutions, adding that rich countries have pledged 100 billion US dollars to finance combating climate change.